Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats here in Glen Elder, Kansas, and, and we're also in Republican City, Nebraska. And we're going to do a walkthrough of the new Lund 2020-2020-1975 Pro-V Sport. Uh, so the Pro-V lineup is their tournament series layout, and they have them in several different sizes. We stock all their, all their different sizes. The 1975, this one being the 1975, in my opinion, is probably the best, uh, the biggest bang for your buck. It's really a lot of boat for the money. It's basically a 20 foot boat. It's, 20, it's 19 feet, 10 inches. Uh, so just a lot of boat for the money there. We're gonna have several of these in stock. So I'm gonna show you how we stock them and, and what options we're putting with them. And this one here being shown in the Arctic white and silver. Uh, this is a new graphic for 2020. It's a very sharp looking graphic. It almost resembles some of their, their last year's uh, premium graphics to a point. Uh, so that's, it's really, it's really a good looking graphic. Another thing they changed for 2020 was they added the black trim to the windshield. That also helps set the boat up, set the boat out. Uh, these graphics here are an upgrade. We stock with them. It's, it's called the 3D Lund, Go, Lund logos. Uh, from the standard stickers you would get on a standard boat, we do we do outfit them with these as well. That also kind of helps bring the boat out. Uh, the custom upgraded bunk trailer is another option we're putting with all of ours, and that's what that gives you over a standard trailer is the nicer wheels. You get a matching spare tire and uh, the diamond plate fenders as well. And it also comes with these roller load guides. All of their Shorelander trailers do have the retractable tie downs here on the back. Very handy feature because it stays bolted onto the trailer. You don't forget them or lose them anywhere. Um, one, one, one thing that's standard on all the Lund Pro Vs is this, it's called the rescue ladder. That's a three-step ladder that's recessed into the gunnel. A nice feature to have. However, we also add another four-step ladder on these as well. A lot of boaters buying this is not necessarily just fishing all the time. They they do a lot of recreational boating with it as well. So we go ahead and put this four-step te telescoping ladder on there as well. So it's uh, a nice, handier, easier way to get in and out of the boat. Ours are stocked all with 200 four-strokes. They just changed these motors last year. We've been very impressed with them. There's plenty of power. Uh, it handles this boat very well, the, 200, the v Mercury V6 200. I think that covers pretty much the outside of the boat. I'm going to hop inside here. So starting here at the back, you got your main back live well. Nice size live well here in the back. Uh, it comes with a removable divider as well. There's a two doors to it. So on one door you have a drop-in bait bucket. Good size live well. And then over here on the Pro V's especially, you get this big compartment that's open to whatever you want to stow away. Where in a lot of different models that might be taken up with battery storage. The Pro V's have their own storage compartment in the floor, which I'll get to here. So that's a really large compartment in the back casting deck. Uh, all of them are going to come standard with the uh, with the hardware and art factory installed for a ski tow pylon. If you ever do want the pylon, we just order it and it drops right in place. And then of course here, one of your fishing pedestal seats will move up to fish off the back seat, back deck. Uh, the 1975s do come with four seats standard, so it'll have four seats to move one back here. And uh, another option we put with all of ours, and this is being shown is the aft, it's called the aft seating option. Uh, if you don't want it, it can be easily taken out, but uh, we found that most people do want it because the first thing it gives you is it really makes the back deck a lot larger. Uh, if you didn't have this option, this would be half the size. You'd have a, a lot smaller casting deck, and so this really gives you a lot more space to fish off the back. And then, of course, the seating aspect of it, when you flip these up, you've got two extra jump seats in the back, especially if you got extra people along or you're just wanting to go from A to B in, in a hurry, you flip these up and you got two comfortable seats to sit in as well. And down here in the floor on the Pro V's you get its own isolated battery storage, which is not taking up space anywhere else in the boat. Nice feature. This here is called the snap out carpet option. So we stock all ours with a vinyl main floor and with the snap carpet over the top of it. Uh, so that makes cleaning up the boat a lot easier. Uh, if you're, if a lot of people leave and will just take the carpet clear out when they're fishing and if they're doing any kind of recreational boating where you want the comfort of the carpet, it just snaps right back in place. So a nice feature that, that we put on them, put on them there. Uh, here on the uh, starboard side, you have a lockable compartment. A lot of storage here in the side gunnel. 
And then moving over to the port side, you have an even bigger one, which you can, it's big enough you can put extra rods in, another lockable compartment. Just a lot of storage in the port side uh, for rods or whatever you want to put there. Now on the passenger side console, you have a lockable glove box and it's really a, a lot of room in this box here as well. Uh, you do get some cargo storage on both sides in the middle here as well. Uh, and one big thing on these Pro-Vs is the drawers underneath the consoles are lockable as well, but they're, they're very large. You got lots of room in this, it's a big drawer. And the nice thing about a drawer though is you can pull it out to you and get whatever you need. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees and dig for something. Uh, and it's also big enough that a lot of people will put the put plano, boxers, put plano boxes in there too for their tackle. So it's great tackle storage if you, if you want to use it for that. You have that under both sides here. <laughs> Now the driver's seat, the driver's console, of course you have the tilt steering, uh, the gauges are nice front and center, they all come with this Kicker brand stereo, uh, you can Bluetooth that right to your phone, all your switches are right here, easy access for the driver, you do have a USB port here as well, uh, there's a 12 volt accessory power here as well, uh, nice size space here to put whatever size of fish finder you want with the use of a ram or a cisco type of mount you can put up to a 12 maybe bigger um, and it, it works really well here uh, another thing i'll point out on the pro v's is the way they for the for the controls they kind of recess the gun a little bit to get them out away from you that allows you to the driver if he wants to swing around here you got plenty of leg space you're not bumping into the controls you can fish fish right off the side here and again you can you can spin this all the way around you don't get into your controls so that's kind of nice that the pro v's have that have this cut out here you also have some more storage down here below it uh this ruler is mounted into the rod box, which is kind of handy as well, and it's always there. Now the main rod box on the Pro V's is, is a lot larger than a lot of other models as well. It's a, of course, it's a lockable compartment, holds 15 rods, and uh, just a really handy, handy way to get in and out of your rod storage here to access your rods. Um, now moving on to the front, all the Pro-Vs are kind of known for a large bow and, and this one has it. You got lots of space up here to cast or a casting deck to, to fish off of. Uh, you do get a second live well right in front of the driver's seat here. So that's another live well. And this is an option that's pretty inexpensive so we just go ahead and put it on there. It's called the bait well, bow bait well. Anybody that uses live bait or minnows, it's a handy feature to have. Uh, and then in front of that, or I'll start on the other side here, you have another very large compartment. And then in front of the console, you also have this compartment too. So there's just a lot of storage everywhere. There's, there's dead space. They put a door on it for storage. And then in front of that, on both sides, you do have the uh, even bigger storage up here in the bow. Ours does have the travel cover with it. All ours will go ahead and include the travel cover already, but just a lot of storage here in the front bow. Another thing I'll point out that the Pro-Vs have is their advanced water control system. So basically, all these doors up here are channeled to the cockpit, so rain or, or any water that gets up here should remain completely out of the compartments and keep everything very dry. Another storage compartment up here on the very tip of the bow. Uh, I think that pretty well covers the uh, 1975 Pro-V. If I missed anything or if you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to call us or email us. Our emails and phone numbers are on our website, wakandaboats.com. And thanks for watching.